For our first activity, we'll be doing a Kabla tower stacking modeled after the Dynamic Tower, which is located in the United Arab Emirates and designed by architect David Fisher using the provided Kabla blocks. And if you happen to not have any Kabla blocks at home, any wooden block, such as the ones found in Jenga, will do fine. Let's create the structure as shown in the picture, a spiral shape, as tall as we can, and then let's measure its height. Now I'll be using our capo blocks to build the dynamic tower. In order to build the dynamic tower without the capo blocks falling over, you first have to ensure that there is a balance of forces. Now let's say we have two blocks. I'm going to place the second block over the first block like this. You have to ensure that these areas that don't overlap, this one here, and same on the other side, this area here, has the same surface area. This ensures that the center of gravity is maintained and a balance of forces is achieved. So we're going to begin building our dynamic tower in this way. For our second activity, we'll focus on building Kapla with stability. Let's create a sturdy cylindrical shape as shown below that won't collapse even if you remove some of the Kapla blocks from the middle of the completed structure. First, we're going to set up the cylindrical base of our structure. Since we're using blocks, it'll actually be a hexagon instead of a circle. Next, we're going to grab another color and set up the first layer. Set another color to set up the second layer. Again, we'll be setting these up diagonally compared to the previous layer. Now for our final activity, you'll use all of your Kapla blocks to make your very own cool structures. Make your own masterpiece. And in the Kapla homework sheet, you'll take a picture of that, paste the picture in your sheet, and also write down the height, measured using a ruler. Today I'll be creating a random structure, and you'll be doing two. So there aren't any rules here. Feel free to let your creativity go loose and then create a cool structure. So I'll be basing mine off the cylindrical structure that we just made, except I'll be changing the shape a little. As you can see, I chose to create a X shape as a foundation, and then I'll be building a border around the shape. 